Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. Today I'm bringing you a Francesca deck. So generally in the past I've not been a huge fan of Francesca just because it wasn't great. Um, but we're in this weird part of the meta where Unicorn and Chironex are played in quite literally every single deck. They are auto-include, they are phenomenal, they will probably be nerfed uh, next week, or I guess this week. Um, so this card called Blue Dream, which allows you to play a unit from your opponent's graveyard, is really, really good. Because all you have to do is have Unicorn or Chironex in your hand, res your opponent's Unicorn or Chironex, uh, and you get to, in theory, get to play uh, two Unicorns or two Chironexes for plus eight or damaging eight, which is really, really good. Uh, that puts Blue Dream at a roughly 12 value, and because you have Francesca, you can do this again, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> Francesca can also utilize Call of the Forest. Uh, which is really good with Unicorn and Chironex, and that's one of the reasons why Agora is in this deck. Agora True Form uh, is a relic, so you can play Agora True Form, and then you can Call of the Forest uh, for Unicorn or for Chironex, uh, and then in theory, if you really wanted to, uh, you could Francesca Call of the Forest, the card that you pulled out, and throw it back, and then play Agora again. Maybe you hit Call of the Forest again, you get to do it again. I Whatever. Um, <clears throat> it can create... For some fun and interesting games with a Gora True Form, because anything can happen. You can roll Renew and renew one of your Unicorns or Chironex. I endless amount of combinations. Um, <clears throat> so this is definitely a fun deck. Um, in the past, I've strayed from Francesca decks because generally they're not very good because they just get bled out. You just lose. Uh, but this deck is surprisingly pretty good. Uh, I should just say this is not my deck. This is King Chez's deck. I net decked him. Um, so props to him. Very fun deck. I went like 6-0 and in my first six games, so really, really fun deck. Uh, I suggest you give it a shot if you have the cards. Um, pretty standard list. Uh, well, sorry. Pretty standard uh, combination of cards. So Ithlin is in the deck for Skags. Agora, I mentioned earlier, is for Unicorn Chironex. Uh, also note the card that you create off of Agora. Uh, you can also use with Francesca. Dragon. Dragons auto include. Very strong against control decks because of the immunity, and you can always throw the plus four, plus eight uh, boost on it, which is very, very strong. Call the Forest, we mentioned. Skags, uh, this is your Ithlin target. Um, you can also call the Forest onto a Skirmisher and pull out Skags, and the call gives it plus three, which gives you plus three damage, which is kind of useful from time to time. Siren, solid card, lock. Witchers, um, Witchers are in the deck because thinning is important in this deck. There are a bunch of cards that you kind of want to find. These cards include Unicorn, Chironex, uh, and some of your specials, such as Blue Dream or Call of Force. So thinning is important. Last rate, last rate's a spell. Uh, having extra spells for Francesca is never bad. It adds consistency, and it's good if your opponent goes wide, and you can always use Dragoons to line up rows. Panther, uh, there's a one of in this deck. There's not a lot of Scoia'tael, so you very rarely get punished for playing this Panther. Worst case scenario, you hit like a Roach or a Witcher. Um, a cute combo, uh, if you have Roach on the board, which you should have if you've ever... Wait, this deck doesn't run Roach. Never mind, there's no Roach in this deck. Um, well, side note for the future, uh, if you ever play a deck with Call of the Forest and Roach... You could consider putting in Panther because you can Call of the Forest on the Roach um, for your Panther, and then Roach comes out after you play the Call, just like when you assign a Roach back into your deck, Roach comes back out. Um, there's no Roach in this deck, so yeah, ignore what I just said. Um, Panther's in the deck because it's removal, NR is showing up from time to time and having three points of damage is useful. Uh, if you're really queuing into that many Scoia'tael matchups, you can remove Panther for Officer. Um, that way you're not limited to non scoyata but for the moment, uh, I think Panther's fine. Sapper's in there for now and then you queue into any SK deck that runs Spears. Uh, the rest of the cards are pretty standard, so I'm not really going to go into detail. General concept with this deck, just like every other deck, try to win round one. Um, don't go crazy. Generally, you don't want to play Francesca in round one. Uh, if you blow Francesca in round one, you might have won the round... But you're going to lose the game. Uh, you won the battle, but you lost the war. So generally, don't play Francesca. It's just like if you're playing a Harold Dagger deck, uh, you don't want to blow Harold in round one. You blow Harold in round one, your odds of winning round three, uh, you're not going to win unless your opponent's bad. It's just it's not worth it. It's your win con. Don't do it. Um, obviously, if you lose round one and you get blood round two and you have no choice, you're going to play Francesca because, you know, you need that daily. So, uh, yeah, I have two games for you today. Uh, both of them are on blue coin because 
why not? Um, yeah, they're two interesting games. Um, one of them is against Adzikov, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. 2017 and 2019. Oh, we can make 2018 jokes now. Nice. Woo! I mean, this is technically a spell. Or special. 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 Crack. I'm a fan. How does he deal with 8 damage? Cleaver and Unicorn. That's it. No one plays Cleaver. Sorry, Chironex. Chironex and Unicorn. Alright, so he needs to have Chiro and Uni. It's impossible. Did you blue dream Lacerate? No, you can't blue dream Lacerate. I blue dreamed a uh, Treb. The gods are with us. That's fine. I mean, how is he gonna do four damage? That's not possible. You gonna ping it? There you go. Three damage? Nope. Wait, he actually can't do three damage. Uh, he could with Cairo. But, like, he can't captain it, and he can't... He could play another one of these and high roll. That works, I guess. Like crazy high roll. Um, that's a pretty good locker, you know. Humans are not trusted. Hmm. When do you play Agora? I'm so scared. <laughs> I want to play Agora. They can hide. We have to keep pushing for obvious reasons. <laughs> when do you play Agora? I guess you play Agora when you got nothing better to do, <laughs> or you feel like high rolling. Wide, sea, I will do you have Skirm? You have Mork? Mork would have been scary. Do I have to pass here? I don't want to play this. This is bricked. I definitely don't want to play this. Agora is whatever, and Dragoons are four. Ugh. Do I want to play a four-point Dragoon? Not really. That uh, will be 17. One point card from, or one point from leader. 12, five. Yeah, it's King Chez's deck. I'm gonna hold on to the Dragoons. Someone linked it to me. So we're trying it because, you know, how bad can Francesca really be? Oh, Witchers, right? We play those. Okay, hopefully we draw this. Won't pay us in gold, pay us in blood. Draw three witchers? I'd rather not. Draw zero witchers on the other hand. I mean, I'm keeping the head. I'm not gonna mulligan for witchers. If I mulligan for witchers, I'll play a card dry pass and I'll draw two witchers and have three witchers and or two witchers in round three. Not worth it. Worst case scenario, I'll play a Gore until I switch to the Oh, I know! I'll play Agora until Blue Dream res their Witcher and pull out my other Witchers. Yep, many IQ. Um, I can create a Scorch, right? Aren't you supposed to play this whenever you need a Scorch? I think so. Uh... <laughs> 
All right, there's only one option. Uh, I mean, he can do four damage out of hand with bear, so we take the biggest card. Wow, that was shitty. Seven point gold. Nice. So good. Wow. Talk about underwhelming. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to score. It's okay, guys, we can Francesca into Runestone. <laughs> so bad. Few passes were not okay. I mean, we're okay if I play Skags, which I guess we don't have a choice. Eh, whatever. Wouldn't it only pull two Witchers? Yep. If I Blue Dreamed one of his Witchers, it would only pull two and I'd have one left in deck. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's why the plan is flawed. But, you know. You say it anyways, because it's funny. Alright, so you have to Skags. It's correct, because he's just going to suck me later. Right? With Regis. Some of these decks play Regis. We play around the good old suck arena. Uh, we're looking for... I don't know. Oh, Witchers! Right, we play Witchers. We're looking for those. I guess we actually might blue dream as witchers. <laughs> okay. Nah. Yep. All right. Blue dream the witchers. It is. Am I playing around another one of these? Not really. <laughs> Shitty Agora. Uh, okay, whatever. Actually, if I can get him to play Chironax, that would be awesome. Alright, if we can get him to play Cairo. He's not gonna play Cairo on a. Mm. Well, forget well, Fred. <clears throat> shit. We could we could boo dream a marauder. And bless the shit out of RNG. <laughs> Another lol. These lacerate on skulls, eh, but I don't wanna. It's a really bad lacerate. No. Never had your kneecaps broken. Lacerating this is hor horrific. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
Dragoons. We don't want to kill anything, otherwise we're losing last year value. I want to hold on to the Dragoons and move. But we want to wait. I could play Burna. I could Blue Dream as Burna. I mean, it's only bad if we draw two Witchers. What are the odds of Pumpkin drawing two Witchers? Don't you pester me. Hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, no, that's not worth it. Peace with humans, a bythos. <laughs> oh, I can res it. I can res Harold's pal. What? Ew. Why? Why do you play this shit? He's always gonna play Uni before Cairo, so we can't go for like the Uni Cairo Blue Dream. Dream. Blue Dream Dream. Yeah. We might have to double lacerate. We're gonna blue dream one of the witchers so that we pull I our witcher. Fear nothing. I mean, it's a seven. I could res this though. This is an eight, and eight's bigger than seven, I think. Play the lowest card at two. Play Dragoon next turn. If he cocks me. Okay, so. Ah, shit. We have to play two Blue Dreams in a row to play around cock. Because if he plays Camby, he nice Francesca. Oh, nice. That's so good. Another law of my teeth. Am I playing around? I'm not playing around cock. Screw that. Onward, fry head! No one plays that card. If he has it, he wins. I'm gonna play around boat on board the sea. I have to go for full value. So he doesn't have uni in hand. Alright, I need you not to have cock or I lose. His last card's boat for four plus three. Hey, <laughs> uh, it was leader two, one, four, seven. Not your lucky day. Oh shit, professional. Alright. I don't have it. Oh, it's Azakov. Please link it. 
Oh, here it is. He heard you say yes on stream and thought you got last right. Oh yeah? Maybe. One coin flip, check. <laughs> this hand, dude. Ah, oh, yay, yay, whatever. I don't have any Dragoon, so playing Swordmaster. I mean, it forces him to have exactly Dragoon, which I guess is worth it. May your sword and arm be one. I mean, he probably has it, but whatever. It's never going off anyways. Don't you fret about me. Can take care of myself. Alright. He's played crushing every now and then. Problem is, this round is going to be really short. Like, I can't do anything. <laughs> I don't want to play dragon. Playing uni is not great. I could play the archer, I guess. They can hide, but there is no escape. There's not much more I can do in this round. Did your weight go up since last Christmas? I hope I'm not the only one who got chubbier. <laughs> I have not gained any weight. This might honestly be my pass. I hate it, but I did. <laughs> I don't know, what are the odds he plays artifacts? If you're playing Milva, you generally don't play artifacts. All right. Blue Mountains! We ought to help one or the other. This is gonna be my pass, because Aelorn, eh, Aelorn doesn't come out yet. I could actually wait a turn. The question is, what do I do in the meantime? Um, you always play Swordmasters. I want to save this for Swordmasters. I don't want to play this until Ithlan. I don't want to play this. Unicorn sucks without Kyra, Blue Dream Blows, and Aguar is... <laughs> it's way too dicey. Chubby just means there's more to love. Now that's the kind of negotiating I understand. Yeah? Chubby just means there's more to love. Does that mean if you're skinny, there's less to love? We can blue dream his Milva. Nice. No lacerate. My only special is blue dream and whatever I pull off of Agora. Will Adzikov push me? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> Dance of death! Ha! Ha! Alright, I, I don't think Adzikov is pushing me. Maybe. We'll see. I don't think so. Um, so we always play the Swordmaster because it's just gonna die to removal. He's playing a Breaver deck, it always dies. Everything else is strictly better. I mean, Agora could be worse. Weapons laugh to scorn. Yeah, Adzikov doesn't usually bleed me. Unless, of course, like, I lose uneven. If I lose uneven, he'll bleed me, but that's to be expected. Uh, we're looking for Ithlin. We drew Call, which is really good. I still want that Ithlin. Skaggs is... Whatever. I don't need the... Eh, Dragoon's good for last raid. Uh, I'll drop the Panther. Um, it's not actually good, because I wanted to call Agora. I don't know. Does he know the list? He actually might know the list. If he knows the list, I could get screwed over. Like, if it was any other deck, I would mulligan Unicorn away so that I could play Agora. 
call a gore for unicorn but if he knows the list when i play a gore he'll just kill it and i'll cry He's playing BME, which means we might have another. Uh, actually, no, we opened Blue Dream, right? Yeah, let's not. Three damage is not... I mean, three damage from Squirtle. Three damage. Brigade plus double... Brigade plus Brewer does it. It's fine. Do I Agora here? I'm considering it. If we roll Scorch, it's good. If we roll Weather, it's fine. If we roll Garrison, it's fine. If we roll Horn, we're sad, but we're always sad with Horn. I think this is actually my Agora. ADC on Ithlin is pretty good. The nine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is the time of the white it's slightly better because we get value on Skags. Granted, we're not going to get a full seven on Skags, but more importantly, it buffs Mova up with the Ithlin, which is kind of cute. But I think ADC is always correct there. Let us sing the song of steel. That's a Siren lock. We don't have to worry about Scorch. We don't have to worry about Epidemic. Ah, no, this is fine too. It's probably better. Never had your kneecaps broken. I'm a little worried about Shiru, but. We'll see. So we can Blue Dream again. I'd love to blue dream his dragon, but that's never gonna happen. If we had rolled Scorch, that, that's the only consideration to take Fog there. If I take Fog with Agora, uh, if we can, if we're able to kill the dragon, we can uh, res it with blue dream. But then it becomes a tricky, we have to keep like knocking down any cards he tries to offset it with, which is just risky. It's usually not worth it. Did Aileron ever come out? No, so we're killing elves. Kiss by the mm. I don't know what we're calling. Eh. <laughs> Might be a Dragoon, we'll see. What's the best way to tell us right now? Um, I don't think I'm in any position to tell you what the best way to tell us is right now. Because I haven't been playing for a while. Wait a minute. If I call Ithlin, I could pull Dragoon. And then call the Archer and throw it on Dragon. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad. It doesn't sound very good either, though. Let me just do this. I don't know, this deck has been performing better than I thought, so maybe this deck is pretty good. Maybe this deck is secretly good. Welcome back. 
Oh, uh, thanks, Cyclo. Thank you for the four months. Those are your holidays. Dude, I miss streaming. The other day I woke up and I'm like, shit. It sucks not being able to stream. Playing ST in 2019, lol. <laughs> lol. Thank you, Vectorize, for the 11 months. Appreciate it, man. ST, lol. 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 <laughs> Lol. Scourge, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you guys for the uh, the train choo choo. That's yeah, fine. If he kills us, I'm sad. So I need to do this now. This value is just, oh, it's it's just. Sky attack! Uh, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, I think we kill that with this. It doesn't look great, but it plays around. What does it play around? We have ADC, we have Call. We can... Okay, so we have a skirmisher left in our deck. This is this this Francesca's really sad. Oh, well. we never want to hit this because it plays into Ithlin. Um, if we, I think we kill this. I honestly think we do. It plays around call, because what he could do is he could call out Shiro at 5 and then double buff it to 9 and then kill Milva. This allows us to keep it out of reach, which I think is correct. We're losing 2 points on Skags, but I don't think we're ever getting better. The only time we're ever getting better is if we give him a Shiro, but I'd rather not give him a Shiro, so we'll play around the Shiro. Yeah. Can you try my deck? Depend on the deck. I'm here. Oh, it's a Witcher deck. I don't like Witcher decks. <laughs> Wait, you don't even play the Witchers in the Witcher deck. I think we play Saren here. Because if he has a, um... If he has an elf, we want to kill it. So we play this. He's never played Eflin, right? So he can't shear it a ton. So I think we're safe on this. I don't think placement matters too much. Co Tyro, your Cairo, Francesco Blue Dream, his Cairo. Oh, I forgot we have Blue Dream. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we can do that. I want to wait a turn, because I can go off run Professional. But yeah, I forgot Blue Dream was a card. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably Blue Dream. Five? Not your lucky day. I want him to boost one of these because then I could yank, I could kill professional. That is my best play, right? Blue Dream has Cairo. I'll see the unicorn in his graveyard, which she doesn't have, so we're just going for double eights.
Wait, does it keep the lock when it goes to the graveyard? I don't think it does. I would assume it doesn't, because it doesn't on any other card. Huh, GG.